A morning swim is a ritual here. Despite the busy shipping traffic, overlooking the swimmers is this small seaside temple. And nearby is this. I still remember the first time I came. I only saw a few abandoned gods lying around here and there. I started picking them up, putting them in good order. Wong Wing Pong is the guardian of this site, perched on the hillside. Eighteen years ago, he stumbled across a few statues, which had been dumped. Since then, the number of abandoned statues has grown to more than 8,000 and counting. I feel good taking care of the gods. It is spiritual. I've never been sick since coming here every day, 365 days a year. Buddhist, Christian, Taoist and local deities are all represented here. Each icon has been lovingly restored and given a new lease of life by Mr Wong. People drive across Hong Kong to hand over their unwanted figures at the resting spot known locally as the Sky Full of Gods. These are newcomers that just arrived not long ago. Uncle Wong has a big heart and respect for the gods. He never asked for rewards. This is part of Chinese culture to serve the gods. Yu Lai Sim comes regularly to visit and pray. It's against the beliefs of Hong Kong people to throw their gods or religious deities away. She's donated two, which are now part of the seaside shrine. My home was too small to house them, so I took them to this place where I can come to offer them incense whenever I can. This is prime real estate in Hong Kong with ocean views. Areas like this are highly sought after. Even so, Mr Wong says he's had no instructions from the government to move his collection of figures, which is growing at a rapid rate. Caring for these gods has become a lifelong commitment for this retired Hong Kong butcher. He says it's rewarding work and gives him peace of mind. This is a home for my heart. I've never thought of stopping coming. I hope I can keep on coming until the end of my life. At 85 years of age, he hopes that someone will take on his role of guardian when he too moves on. Sarah Clark, Al Jazeera, Hong Kong.